Hi there. This video is here to help you with finding equivalent fractions, decimals and percentages. So let's take a look in more detail of how we do this. Here we have one hundredth. One hundredth can be written as a fraction like this or as a decimal like this, 0 0.01, as we have no tenths and one hundredth. It can also be written as a percentage. Percent means out of 100, so one hundredth can be written as 1%. This hundred square represents ten hundredths. Ten hundredths can be written as a fraction like this, and can be simplified to one tenth. Ten hundredths is equivalent to one tenth. If you would like to find out more about simplifying fractions, take a look at our video on the Twinkle website. We can also write this as a decimal, 0 0.10, as it has one tenth and no hundredths, and as a percentage, 10%. Let's look at how we find the equivalent percentage and decimal for this fraction. We have 45 hundredths. Because percent means out of 100, 45 hundredths is equivalent to 45%. 45 hundredths can be partitioned into 4 tenths and 5 hundredths, which we can write as a decimal, 0 0.45. So 45 hundredths is equivalent to 45% and 0 0.45. What would we do if we had to find an equivalent percentage and decimal for this fraction? 3 fifths. In order to do this, it would be helpful to find an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 100. We can multiply 5 by 20 to give us a denominator of 100. We must apply the same rule to the numerator. 3 multiplied by 20 equals 60. We can say that 3 fifths is equivalent to 60 hundredths. Now we have 60 hundredths, we can find the equivalent percentage and decimal. 60 hundredths is equivalent to 60%. 60 hundredths can be partitioned into 6 tenths and 0 hundredths, so we can write this as the decimal 0 0.60. We can even ignore the hundredths column as there are no hundredths and write the decimal as 0 0.6. To summarise, 3 fifths is equivalent to 60% and 0 0.6. Now let's have a look at a question whereby we are converting from a percentage to a fraction. If we have 28%, how would we write that as a fraction? Let's start by reminding ourselves that percent means out of 100, so we can convert 28% to the fraction 28 out of 100, written as 28 hundredths. But, as we know, we always try and write fractions in their simplest form, so we need to look for common factors in both numbers. The highest common factor of both 28 and 100 is 4, so we need to divide both the numerator and the denominator by 4. When we do that, we get 7 25ths, so 28% as a fraction is 7 25ths. Now it's your turn. Pause the screen here and have a go at completing the table. Press play again when you are ready to carry on. All finished? Perfect. Let's take a look at the answers now. Take a look at the answers and if you've made a mistake, feel free to pause if you need longer to work out what you should have done. Now I think you're ready for a challenge. These children were completing some maths questions. Can you put them in order of who got the most correct? Pause here and have a go. Just press play again when you're ready to carry on. All finished? Here are how many each child got correct as a fraction, decimal and percentage. This means that Mo got the most correct, followed by Ruby, then it was Anisha and finally James. Well done if you got that one correct. I hope this has helped you to understand how to find equivalent fractions, decimals and percentages. If you're looking for more maths help, we have loads more of these videos on the Twinkle website, so make sure to check them out.
Thank you for watching.